Hi, my name is Chris Miller. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a bison farmer, and I'm a boxer. That's right, at 44 years old, I came out of retirement last night for one last fight. I was the underdog, but this old dog still knows a few tricks, and I don't quit. They call me the fighting governor. Nothing is more American than an underdog story. From our founding fathers during the revolution to our grandfathers in World War II, we are fighters who overcome adversity. But the greatest chapter of the underdog story hasn't been written yet. We are about to write that story in the great state of West by God, Virginia. Our story will begin with hard work and merit. We'll measure our progress by real results. There will be no participation trophies. We'll demand excellence in our schools, healthcare, and infrastructure. We'll expect accountability from our leaders. There will be no place for politicians who don't own up to their part in past failures. These things, along with strengthening our families, will be the foundation for our success. We will be a place that recruits the best and brightest a place the best and brightest will seek out and want to be a part of, a state where my children will want to stay and build a life with their families. And let me be the first to tell you, we will not be distracted. The media pits neighbors against each other. We won't let them. Woke culture attacks our values and faith. We'll stay true. When they argue about pronouns, We'll, take, we'll talk about biology and God's perfect design. When they insist on defunding the police, we'll give our police the support they deserve. When they argue about equity, we will focus on equality of opportunity, especially in our schools. We will keep West Virginians' sons and daughters in our state because they have something real to stay for. We will redefine the energy industry again. Our leadership will set an example for the world. We will create a government that treats its citizens like customers with the singular goal of making their lives better, but not dependent. Families who have lived in our state for decades know exactly what we're capable of, but others around the country may not be aware. They make fun of us for being hillbillies. But among our hills are honest, hardworking people and tons and tons of natural resources. And guess what? Y'all are gonna need them. For all our challenges, West Virginia has always been great. We mined the coal that built the steel that led to a victory in World War I. We mine the coal that built the steel that led to a victory in World War II. We mine the coal that led to the affordable energy and the greatest capitalistic expansion in human history. This is who West Virginia has always been. Fighters, workers, builders. Now in West Virginia, we've also seen the worst. Liberal Washington's attack on our energy tried to wipe out our jobs. Corporate drug peddlers devastated a generation of us with a deliberate opioid crisis. Believe this, they've tried to knock us down, but guess what? We're still standing. How American is that? Keep watching, America. You're about to see what happens when you rile up a bunch of mountaineers. Yeah. Lastly, I wanna to speak to the young people of my state. Your voice matters. We can't get this right without you. You're the key ingredient to bringing this all together. Help us break the good old boy system and build West Virginia back even stronger. Prove to everyone that you have merit, that you are accountable, that you are hungry for excellence. That's our history. That's who we are as a people. 
That is West by God, Virginia. Thank you.